Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about earthy, eco, boho style baby names. Um, so most of these are nature names in some way, um, but I just feel like they would work so well for more of like a hippie mom or dad or um, parents that are more eco-oriented, um, tree huggers, you could call these tree hugger baby names. Um, I stumbled across some awesome names that I honestly hadn't even heard before. So um, uh, some of them are a little bit out there. I'm not saying that you have to name your kids that, so <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, they are a little bit out there, some of them, but I think that's the fun of watching these name videos. Like we all know the more popular names for the most part. We know the top 100 names. We don't need to constantly be hearing them again. So I like to try to um, share names that are more uncommon and maybe you've never heard of before, just to give you some new fresh ideas. All right, let's get started. The first name that I have to share with you is Plum. Plum is obviously a fruit name. Fruit names are quite popular. If you think about it, Clementine is really climbing up there. That's a fruit. Um, also, olive and apple are getting more popular too. Um, so if those sorts of names can gain popularity and do well, um, as a name, I think that Plum could be a possibility. Right now, it is a highly unusual name. It was given to less than five girls in 2019 in the US, but I don't think it's too crazy, and I think it's a really, really cute, sweet name. Now, would it age well? I don't know, but there is a British novelist whose name is Plum Sykes, I believe. I'm not sure if that's her given name or if that's her pen name or what, but I think it's a really cute name and I personally think I would use it, but I'm sure Bryce would shoot it down like immediately. The next name I have to share with you is Clover. Clover is a plant name and it obviously brings to mind the four-leaf clover. Um, to me, it kind of symbolizes luck um, and good fortune. It, only 209 baby girls were named Clover in 2019. So it's not in the top 1,000, but it's not completely unheard of either. And another variation of this name, Clove, I think would work very, very well on a boy. Although Clover has been used on boys in the past, it is primarily a name given to girls. I think Clove is a little bit more of a masculine sounding version of the name. I also consider the fact that Cove is a name that's rising in popularity right now. Um, I think like a famous YouTuber named her baby girl Cove. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, um, name tubers, Rebecca, uh, used to love this name, but she doesn't do YouTube anymore. She like completely disappeared. She was my favorite. But yeah, that was one of her favorites. That's where I first heard the name. Um, yeah, I just think it's, it's really beautiful. Uh, and Clove and Clover both have similar sounds in them. So I think that people might like those names too. The next name that I have to share with you is Bluma. Bluma is a Yiddish name meaning flower. The name alludes obviously to blooming and bounty, flowering, all of those beautiful things. Um, I think it would make a beautiful choice for a little girl. Um, and alternatively, you could also use the name Bloom for a boy. I think that that's a really, really strong sounding name. Um, I think it could work well on either boy or girl, really. Um, either options are a great way to kind of acknowledge or allude to flowers, gardening, um, the bounty of our planet, all of that. Um, so it's definitely a name that I would consider an eco baby name. The next name I have to share with you, I was really excited to discover. I had never heard of this name before I came across it, um, and that is Barrow. Barrow is an Anglo-Saxon surname that was traditionally given to individuals that lived near a grove. Barrow isn't really currently in use as a first name, but surnames as first names are a big thing right now. Lots of people are giving their babies names that are traditionally not first names. So I feel like Barrow could be one that really, really rises soon. 
Um, it's very easy to pronounce. It's a nature name because it means grove, basically. It ends in that trendy O sound. Um, and also, it's got great nickname potential. Um, you could use the nickname Bear or Row as nicknames, um, which I adore both of those nicknames. So I really love this name. Um, and I think it's, it's just a very earth, earthy sounding name. The next name that I have to share with you is Garth. Uh, Garth is a Norse name meaning groundskeeper. When I came across this name on a list, I was like, that sounds really familiar, but also I don't think I know anyone named Garth. And then I remembered Garth Brooks. <laughs> I think he's a country singer. So it, it has kind of been like familiarized through him. Um, and I think that groundskeeper is a great meaning for a name. It's not glamorous, but I mean, it, it sounds very down to earth. And if you love gardening or anything to do with like working with earth, I feel like this could be the perfect name. Um, it's also just a very like strong and simple name, which I love. Um, it's the perfect ode to gardening really. The next name I have to share with you, I have shared before, and that is Gaia. Gaia is a Greek name meaning earth. Gaia was basically like Mother Nature, Mother Earth in ancient Greek mythology. Um, I love this name. I've loved it for a really, really long time. It's like the ultimate hippie boho name. Um, despite its beauty, Gaia is still not very popular. It was only given to 136 baby girls in 2019. Um, so it's not in the top 1000 and it's relatively unique. Um, so I really, really like it. Um, if you're into mythology or anything to do with helping our planet, this could be the perfect name. The next name I have to share with you, I have loved for a long time. I've always kind of considered it in the middle name spot, um, and that is Meadow. Meadow is an English word name that refers to a field full of flowers. It just brings to mind the most beautiful, like evocative images. Um, it has gained a lot of popularity over the past couple of decades. It's risen from near obscurity to basically the middle of the US top 1000. Um, as of 2019, it ranked at number 497. Um, one thing that I do know about this name is that Paul Walker named his daughter Meadow Walker, which I think is the best name ever. Um, like, I love it when people have kind of interesting last names that when combined with a first name create a beautiful, like, fuller meaning. Um, Meadow Walker is just, it's one of the best names, I think, um, that I've ever heard of, name combinations. Um, yeah, I really, really, really love this name. I've always kind of imagined it on like a golden retriever though. I don't know why, I think it would make a really sweet name for a golden retriever. The next name that I have to share with you, I think people are divided on, and that is Kale. I actually knew a boy named Kale growing up, and I never thought the name was that weird, but it's not very popular. Um, obviously, not everyone loves Kale the vegetable. I personally love it, <laughs> um, but it's one of those vegetables where people like to call it a superfood, but also a lot of people don't like to eat it. <laughs> Either way, it's short and strong as a name, um, definitely very earthy. Um, I think like crunchy mamas love kale, so this would be absolutely perfect. Um, in 2019, it ranked at number 972 in the US. So it is just barely in the top 1000. It's still very unique. The next name that I have to share with you is Clay. Uh, Clay sat cozily at number 681 in the U.S. in 2019, so it's smack dab in the middle. I think this is the perfect popularity in my opinion. Um, if you're looking for a name that your child won't share with their classmates most likely, but is also not so out there that it raises eyebrows, that like middle section of the top 1000 between like 400 and like six or 700 is absolutely perfect. Um, as for Clay, I think it's a really, really strong name. Um, it brings to mind to me pottery and just the earth and creating things. Um, and I feel like this is a name that's been around for a long time too, and that uh, is easy to pronounce and it's just a really great, strong name. Next name that I have to share with you is Tara. 
Uh, Terra is a Latin name meaning earth, so we're getting very literal here. Um, the name literally means earth. Um, it's simple, it's easy to pronounce, um, it's very feminine, but it's still very unique. Terra was only given to 102 baby girls in 2019. So it's not in the top 1,000, um, which I obviously love when I find names that are not in the top 1,000, but are still usable. Um, yeah, and I just, I think it's a really, really sweet name. All right, so that brings us to the end of the list. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun finding these names because I have talked about botanical baby names in the past. I've talked about nature names and animal names. So I really had to dig a little bit deeper for this one to find names that I hadn't talked about in those videos. Um, but yeah, I think this would be like the perfect list for like a crunchy mama, uh, parents that are very into gardening or are environmentalists. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe for more. I plan to do one baby name video a week and one more like motherhood sustainability video. You can also follow me on Instagram. My username is ecoconsciousmom and I post a lot about motherhood and sustainability. All right, have a great day. Bye.